I have shown several types of SSD drives with various formats and storage capacities. And one of the best M.2 SSD, the Samsung 980 Pro with 2TB of capacity. But today I'm going to show you another very good M.2 SSD. But first, subscribe to the channel because I post new videos every week. M.2 SSDs have become the most important component for the performance of modern computers, with impressive speeds and storage capacities for any need. These M.2 SSDs are small modules with a 2242 or 2280 format, which are mounted on the computer's motherboard with a high-speed PCIe Express interface. This speed improves productivity when you use the computer. This is the Micron 2400 NVMe M.2 SSD, which can have a capacity between 500GB and 2TB. It is a powerful storage drive with QLC technology, which offers an impressive balance between performance and efficiency. This M.2 module has a 2280 format, with a length of 80mm, with a PCIe Express 4 interface, with a sequential read speed that can theoretically reach up to 7000 megabytes per second and sequential write speed up to 5000 megabytes per second but the maximum speed may depend on the microchips of the M.2 module but also on the either the file reading is sequential but I'm going to do a speed test on this M.2 SSD to prove the real speed Mounting an M.2 SSD in the computer is a very simple task. Simply open the computer and find where the computer's M.2 connection is. Generally, this slot is identified as M.2 and only allows the M.2 module to be placed in one position. Place the SSD in the computer's M.2 connection and put the screw to secure the M.2 module so that it doesn't become disconnected. And that's it. The SSD M.2 is installed in the computer and it's ready to use. I'm going to do a test under the best conditions to see what the maximum possible speed is. And after copying a file on the SSD, you can see that the sequential read speed of this SSD was 4542 megabytes per second, only 65% of the maximum possible speed of a PCIe Express 4 interface, but about 4500 megabytes per second is a very high sequential read speed, and it's a very good speed for any task you need to do on a computer. The result of the sequential write test was 2658 megabytes per second, around 53% of the maximum speed it could have. Although it is lower than expected, it is still an excellent speed for the computer. So these were the results of sequential reading and writing tests under the best conditions, with 4.5 gigabytes per second of file reading and 2.6 gigabytes per second of file writing. But under normal computer use conditions, these speeds will be lower. Although the test result does not reach the maximum speed of the computer's M.2 interface, the result is very good for any computer, and it's an excellent SSD choice for those who want to have a good computer. But I recommend that you choose the SSD with at least 1TB of capacity. But now, subscribe to the channel because I post new videos every week. And if you have any questions, write in the comments.